Hello, oh, my name's Fox Nights. Like, I'm at Fox. Um, usually I do an entire, you know, holy balls, there's 34, six episodes of one season. Um, usually I, I watch an entire season before I do a review, but I'm going to be gone for a bit, so I just thought, screw it. Um, I guess I could do Independence Day. Well, the cinema stopped Independence Day. Never mind. Um... I am been binge watching the Twilight Zone and, and pretty dang good. Uh, <laughs> I really do like it, though there are some things I kind of see from the time where I'm kind of like, uh, what? And I kind of got to look it up. At least one of them is, and it's one of the most famous uh, Twilight Zone ones where it was enough time where a character loves to read. He just absolutely loves it. He, it basically takes up a lot of his time. And people apparently are telling him not to read. His boss saying, stop reading. His his wife actually takes books away from him and tells him, don't read this. Don't read. Don't read it. I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, nowadays, you know, everywhere you see people saying, kids should read more. You should read more. People should read a lot more. Now, in this, it's going, don't read, which apparently that's a whole thing of anti-intellectuals, where apparently it was not good to be smart, which I guess it kind of led into the whole thing with, like, nerds and stuff like that. And I just find that pretty funny. But there are pretty good stories in it, which I thought a lot of times when I watched the Twilight Zone books, or books, show, or when I, the few Twilight Zones that I used to, that I used to watch, or sometimes what caught every once in a while, it usually ended because something bad happened to, like, something bad happens to a character because they're a bad person, or some quote-unquote bad person, or something like that, but I actually kind of like how this show kind of blurs the line between that a little bit, like, um, well, one, the not enough time is just kind of effed up altogether, people say, oh, that's a, that's a, be careful what you wish for type scenario. I'm like, no, that's not. That's a, this is a stupid thing telling you not to read. Oh. Uh, but I actually do like how it's kind of like, okay, it's, a lot of it is just a person thrown into a situation that is quote unquote abnormal or something like that, which I kind of do like. That is pretty awesome. I know I might be late to the party about this, but it is pretty awesome. And even like some things were like a woman who wants to regain her youth and from old photos or movies or whatever and see the past, her actors, actresses, actors that she they used to know, she used to know and whatnot. And that she, in the end, spoilers for that episode, she gets put into film she basically wishes herself into the film and it does it's supposed to be and even like the person outside of the film that's kind of like loved her she goes come back to me and she just like goes like that and disappears into the film so watching that it's kind of like and even he says to those whose dreams become reality that's kind of a sense like everyone thought she was going crazy and she basically was because she was just locked herself in the room saying that no, it's the 1920s in here now. I don't care about the no rock and roll and t-shirts and all. I'm just thinking, wow, this feels is kind of dated in a sense because that's now considered old to everyone here now at this time period, uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, but watching that is pretty. It was. Pre it is pretty cool seeing that. And like again, it blurs the line where saying like, well, her dream is realizing she's happy. Though the other guy is sad, but then again, it's kind of like, is it a good thing that she's now stuck in this film where she wanted to be, or is it a bad thing? Because she doesn't seem to be, like, in hell or whatever. Then you have things, uh, of course, like, things like a guy who kills a bunch of people, and then he relives the killing by him being killed, or other stories. And it's pretty dang good. I really like those. Um, if you haven't checked out The Twilight Zone yet, I definitely say check it out. These are small little reviews. I'm sorry. I kind of got to do all these before I leave, and I have, like, an hour left before I can do all of it. Before I can, before all this, but I'm trying to get these all out for you. Hopefully you enjoy these. Hopefully you're enjoying them, but either way, pretty awesome. It is pretty cool seeing it. Maybe I'll do a more in-depth one later on of the Twilight Zone, especially when I finish, like, the series or the seasons, but it's pretty good. I really do like these stories. I love how um, things like fate can be personified in these 
or like fate is personified, death is personified, which is actually one of the cool ones I like where a salesman basically ha doesn't want to die, but a little girl gets about to get killed instead, but he throws a pitch to death about sales or whatever, and basically it's supposed to be, he has to do a pitch to the angels before he can die, because that, because that was um what he told death, that his unfinished business, and it, it's, it's a really good, it's a really good one. Though it's kind of funny thinking of death saying, oh my gosh, I want this tie, I want this, I want that. Also, watching a lot of these, I'm kind of thinking like, the, a lot of these actors in this could be dead ringers for some actors of today. I don't know, if, like, um, what is it? Fudge, I can't remember all of them. But, like, watching some of these, I'm just like, that kind of looks like this guy. That kind of looks like that guy. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty funny. Either way. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Don't you remember these that I've done? Click the links from below. Put you all my videos. Pretty good show. I, well, it's a really good show. Um, also, some of these, sometimes it's a, it's a little, some stories are a little bit, I think, like, the characters are a little bit dumb, where a guy is completely and utterly immortal, he can't be hurt, but then he loses he, the thrill in life. I'm just thinking, dude, you're freaking immortal. You can never die. You can go anywhere, do anything. And basically, it ends with, spoilers for that episode, it ends with him, well, well, he made a deal with the devil, for one. It ends with him telling the devil that he doesn't want the immortality, that he dies, the soul goes to hell, basically. But he just dies, I'm just thinking, and we, it's because he gets locked up in jail for a quote-unquote life. And I'm just thinking, one, you're immortal, and like, you could actually just go out there, and he can't really be hurt either, so he could go and go, I don't want to get in my cell, go away. They'll try to grab him, lock him down or whatnot, but he'll still eventually be, still be able to get out, at least I would assume so. Like, they go, ooh, try to hit him with a pole, and doesn't hurt, grab the pole, whack that in the face. You're immortal and indestructible. You should be fine. And you can live out forever and live on till infinity. Though he still made a deal with the devil, which was pretty dang stupid. But yeah, that was like one of the, that was one of the devil's most, more stupider deals. <laughs> or at least it was the stupidest client. Either way. Actually, not really that stupid of a, a deal for the devil, but either way. Pretty dumb. Either way, it's, it is pretty cool seeing these. It's kind of a time capsule of that period while also being pretty dang good stories. Then again, not enough time when that ending is just like, well, he didn't do anything wrong. Quote, unquote, wrong. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't, care. I don't know. Either way, I guess the equivalent of today would be watching TV so much and just ignoring everyone, I guess. I don't know. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to check movies that I've done, please link in the description below. Please check out all my videos. And we will. See you later.